your girl Rocky welcome back to my channel in today's video we will be using the Bumble and Bumble invisible oil to bomb hair mask as well as doing a protein wash day now I typically have not been heavy on proteins but I am trying to repair some damage to my hair so we are trying all new things right now so if you are in the same boat as me if your hair is dry brittle and you're just overall like struggling a little Let's get into this video. Today my pre-shampoo is the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Balm to Oil Pre-Shampoo Mask. I ordered this from Sephora and it is three ounces. This mask is thick and solid at room temperature, but once you apply heat, it quickly melts. I have high density hair with average size strands. Since my strands are not thick, they are prone to breakage. I typically pre-shampoo with products that have slip. The container states that this is for dry to very dry hair it is supposed to leave my strands silky and soft I'm supposed to warm it up in between my hands place it on my hair and then let it sit for 20 minutes because my hair is high density I divided my hair into four sections As I applied it to each large section, I divided the larger section into a smaller section just to ensure more hair gets product. Initially, I wasn't sure that the three ounce container would be enough for me, but honestly, this product distributes very well and you don't need a lot, especially if you section your hair. Dry hair tends to absorb more moisture than wet hair, so applying this mask before shampooing will provide parched strands with much needed pampering. I am generally not a big fan of oils. When I apply this, it sits on the outer strands of my hair and I can feel that it's not absorbing into my hair. My hair is on a reparative journey, so I have moisture wash days and I have protein wash days. I like the concept of this product because like attracts like, so using this as a pre-shampoo in theory it should attract the dirt and oils that I want to remove from my hair my only concern is since my hair is low porosity right now when I wet my hair it will be extra hard for the water to penetrate my hair because low porosity hair has a hard time absorbing water in the first place and then oil repels water so I have two things working against me so what I did was I applied the shampoo to dry hair and my reasoning behind this is is shampoo has ingredients that attract oils and water is the first ingredient in the shampoo so the shampoo will naturally attract both the oil and the water and allow my hair to get wet quickly or else if I didn't do this I would be trying to wet my hair for like 30 minutes this is why I typically like water-based pre shampoos because it attracts water So if you're enjoying this video so far, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know your hair and that you care. And as well, if you are enjoying this video, please go ahead and tap that subscribe button. Join the Buddy family because I'd love to have you. So overall, I think the pre-shampoo is okay. I like that the oils in it will attract the dirt and the oils in my hair. Since this product does not have slip, I cannot detangle, which is a requirement for my pre-shampoo process. So for that reason alone, I will not repurchase this. As I mentioned, this product goes a long way. Once this is gone, I will move on to another product that can attract the dirt and oils plus help me detangle. I 
I have moisture wash days and I have protein wash days. For this protein wash day, I am using the Joyco K-Pack Reconstructing Shampoo. Last year, I was using healthy hair products. In fact, I actually put my hair on a diet, but after a year on a hair diet, I didn't see any improvement for my hair. So now I just use whatever I want, except parabens. I don't, mm -mm, we don't do that. As I mentioned, I applied my shampoo to dry hair. I am using the Joyco K-Pack Reconstructing Shampoo. This is supposed to repair damaged hair. I like that it is very creamy. This shampoo has hydrolyzed hair keratin along with other keratins. So since the shampoo has sulfates and keratin in it, it will leave my hair on the drier side. I recommend following up with a hydrating deep conditioner. I should have used the Joyco Moisture Recover Conditioner, but instead I used the K-Pack Hydrator. And even though it is a hydrator, it has proteins in it too. So if you're low porosity, my recommendation would be to use a conditioner without proteins. Anywho, this conditioner is an intense treatment for dry damaged hair, as well as seal the cuticles and impart shine. I really like this hydrator, but since I am low porosity, having such an intense protein wash day left my hair feeling a bit dry. Overall, I think the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil is okay. I like the Joy Co. K-Pack Reconstructing Shampoo, but next time I would follow it up with the moisturizing mask or deep conditioner. I wouldn't follow it up with the K-Pack Hydrator. So I wanna know, have you used any of these products or would you consider using any of these products? I personally will continue using these products. If I was to use the shampoo, well, when I do use the shampoo again, I will follow it up with a more moisturizing mask. And then when I have my moisture days, I would use my protein conditioners on those days. I wouldn't use a protein shampoo plus a protein conditioner all in one day. I think personally for me, since I have low porosity hair and I have like average sized hair strands, it's like way too much protein in one day. So if you are low porosity, I know you feel me on that. For today's wash day, I did do a heavily based protein wash day. I did follow up with more moisturizing um, styling product. So I used a very moisturizing detangling spray as well as a very moisturizing cream. That way my hair wouldn't be super dry and brittle. So as you can see, my hair did come out moisturized. It's hydrated. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel brittle. You always want to have a very good moisture protein balance. You don't want to have too much of one or the other. If you do a very intense like moisturizing 
wash day, you do want to follow up with a deep conditioner that has a little bit of protein. Or if you do a very intense moisture wash, did I just say moisture? If you do a very intense protein wash day, you do want to follow up with a deep conditioner that's hydrating, which is something I did not do on this wash day. And moving forward, I will follow up with more of a moisturizing deep conditioner, but this wash day, I didn't. So I did follow up with moisturizing um, styling product. Don't be like me and use like a protein shampoo and a protein deep conditioner because it's just like, girl, we low porosity, which what you think is gonna happen. So yeah, I dropped the ball on that one, but you know, I'm still learning, I'm not perfect. So if you make that mistake too, don't feel bad. Like just really hydrate your hair when you're styling it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to me because I'd love to have you. But until next time, see ya.